Hey everyone, real quick before this video starts, I just want to let you all know that I have a public Discord for anyone who wants to join and chat with me or any of my subscribers. It's available to the public, and if you want to join for yourself, the link will be in the description below. Just putting that out there before the episode begins. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's get on to the video. Why are we doing this again? I told you, we need both of their energy if we're going to power up our operation, especially Pikachu. Don't you think this is stupid? It's perfectly reasonable. Look, I know you're the leader of this thing you're doing, but sometimes I wonder if you're in the right state of mind for this. Trust me, comrade, I know what I'm doing. They're up, get into position. Remember, you have to beat them no matter what happens. We should use the Aura Crystal to see if he's good or not. What the? No, no! I can't find the ore crystal carrot Costa gave us! Ah! What? what? Mm -hmm. Watch out! Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But what does this Lucario want from us? I'm not sure, but I don't think he's gonna stop attacking us anytime soon. I won't fail my master at retrieving your energy for the operation. I won't show any mercy to pipsqueaks like you. What do you mean, energy? <laughs> Piplup, now that we ended up in Denzel Square, we should find the other human before it's too late. Where do we even start? I'm not quite sure. So, we finally meet at last. Who are you? And what do you want? And what does this Lucario mean by operation? And you want to know why I hired Pokemons to bring you here? Why I wanted to take the book back from Caracosta? And what Lucario means by energy and operation? Jesus, you guys are as predictable as a house tour. I just want answers! Very well. Uh, Pikachu! Uh, uh, now to take care of you. Uh, uh, Journal entry 626. Today at school is pretty much normal as usual. Nothing major really happened. 
but a bunch of guys at school today were saying some really mean things about Pokemon. I don't know exactly what they were saying, but it sounds like they really hated them. They were saying things like how Pokemon shouldn't have the rights and Pokemon shouldn't be considered living beings. This whole Pokemon vs. Human War thing that's been going on is pretty messed up and I hope life returns to normal soon. There was always that one kid who didn't fit in with the rest of the class and just because I treated small wild Pokemon near the school like they were my only friends, while my classmates and pretty much everyone else in this cruel world abused them for their own amusement. The only thing that'll come for me right now, aside from the small Pokemon outside the school, is what's left of my family. Who knows how long that'll last. I should probably go home right about now. Maybe get a soda at the gas station along the way. Hmm? <coughs> Poor thing! That's it! I'm not letting these assholes get away with murdering an innocent Piplup! <laughs> What's the matter? Can't fight back? You're a Pokemon, right? Pokemon are supposed to have powers to defend themselves! So why can't you use them? Yeah, come on, Runt! If you want us to stop hurting you, then why don't you do something about it? Hey! Who are you? His caretaker? Stay away from us! Yeah! Can't you see we're having some fun right now? You idiots really think hurting in the small defenseless Pokemon is fun?! Did you call us idiots?! Boy, go back to where you came from unless you don't mind us beating you into a bloody pulp as well. I'd like to see you punks try! Crap! You son of a- Whoa. You did that, didn't you? Here, let me help you. Oh yeah, you can't talk, can you? It's alright, they're making some sort of gadget that can enable Pokemon to speak. Now, let's get your injuries bandaged back at my house. Huh? Are you sure about that? I mean, you look horrible with those wounds and bruises, and it'll hurt more if you don't get them bandaged. Okay, if you're able to handle it, be careful out there. <laughs> what the? May I have your attention please? We received a message the Pokemon are attacking everyone on site. Buildings are on fire and thousands of people are dying. As we speak, evacuate your current city or town immediately. I repeat evacuate. No way. What the? Journal Entry 360 You know what I really hate? Wars regarding rights. This is why I hate the current Pokemon being abused every single day. Now, I really could care less about this, but it seems like everybody has to remind me of this crap. There doesn't seem to be a middle ground, and it's so hard not to talk about this thing. We see people who dedicate their whole life mistreating these Pokemon even though it doesn't affect their lives, and they just do it to seem popular and inflate their already huge ego. This whole human abusing Pokemon for their entertainment have something in common now that I think about it. And if this escalates even further, we might even have a full blown. Hmm? Come on! May I have your. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Are you alright? Watch where you're going. I guess with all the panicking civilians and all the car crashes, I didn't see you. Yeah, well, it was nice talking to you, but I need to get to my house. I assume you're gonna go get your family, right? That, and I need to get this thing that means a lot to me. What's so important about this thing that you need? None of your business. Now I need to hurry up, for all we know, they might send bombs right this second. Hey, wait! Oh no! Why are we still looking here? We're doing a double check to see if they really aren't here. We'll check the next town soon. Wait, I think I know where they might be. The abandoned house where I found out that Pikachu is a human. Why didn't we consider that? So, what do you want? We were wondering if Pikachu and Piplup are here. Who? One's a rat and the other's a penguin. Oh, them. Yeah, they left. Where? Oh, some mountain shelter in the Middle East. Hey, weren't you the ones they were running from in the first place? We had a change of heart. We will accept Pikachu for who he is. Well, that was fast. In my experience, human beings take a long time accepting other human beings for what they really are. But we aren't humans. I know that. Just a little tidbit. So you want to know where they are? Yes. Well, if I can remember where that mountain shelter is, since it's been a long time since I last went there... It should be near Denzel Square. Hey, me and Deden used to travel at Denzel Square all the time. We could easily use the teleporters to go there. Well, we won't know until we go there. Caracosta, do you want to come with us? We could use your skills in combat. That is, if you're okay with it. Of course. Those boys have a good heart, and I know that Pikachu is our only chance at Alter in the future. And if they are planning to do something horrible to Pikachu and Piplup, then count me in. Ready the teleporter, War Turtle? Yes, sir! Sure hope this works. Wow, it worked! So there is a gate here. Let's go inside. Hey! We don't allow strangers in our facility! If you don't flee this area now, we'll force you out ourselves! Looks like they won't let us in easy, huh? Might as well beat them, damn! Agreed. If they want to fight, then it's a fight they'll get! <gasps> so, I see you're awake. What did you do to me? You said you wanted answers, so I delivered. I want all of my questions answered! Like, why are we tied up? I used Psychic to revise some of your memories from the day the war started. Around the time we were still humans. We? What do you mean, we? So, you weren't aware that I was the other human that survived the war aside from you, and how a rare and mythical legendary Pokemon by the name of Arceus erased your previous memories and turned us into what we are today? I'm sure that old turtle told you that we were the ones that chose not to fight against Pokemons all of those years ago. But how do you know all of this if Arceus erased our memories after the war? To be honest with you, Pikachu, or should I say, Takashi? Excuse me? It's a question I have never been able to figure out. But from what I can guess, is that just like you, I was also supposed to have my memories erased too, but for some reason I managed to keep mine. And when I told my henchman to steal that book back from Caracosta and read it for the first time, I found out that you are the only one that could save this planet from an oblivion. You are the only human besides me that is capable of changing the future. And it's something I won't allow after we lost our families, our friends, and everyone we once knew and loved before they were all murdered. So all you wanted to do was to prevent me from ruining your plans to get revenge for something that happened a decade ago? Yes, Takashi. But to do that, I had to steal the book back from Caracosta to prevent anyone from understanding the true potential of ruining my plans to get revenge on all Pokemon that destroyed humanity altogether. But that seemed to fail miserably. My... True potential. Hey there! How you feeling, mystery guy? Hello. You took a nasty ball out there. Do you need anything? Looks like they banished your gas 
trash, too. Wow. Needed you boys to get that book back from those punks. They stole it from me quite some time ago, and I tried finding them everywhere, but they were nowhere to be found until two minutes ago. You have a good heart, and you might be just the type of character to alter the fate of this world. You might be the Pokemon or Percy, rather, this prophecy was looking for. Maybe you can change our fate. Maybe? You can bet I will. Pikachu's right, and I'll help too. Let's not only grow as a team together, but let's also become heroes together. Piplup. It's because of you I was able to remember. And it's because of Dragonite, Mawile, Bonobi, and everyone at the guild that I was able to learn what being a Pokemon feels like. And it's because of Caracasa that I learned my true potential, even if I still don't know what it fully means. If it wasn't for you, Piplup, I wouldn't have come this far. Now I know what I have to do. I'll make sure to protect the Pokemon world from not only danger... What was that? My my, seems like we have some visitors. Time for a nap, Takashi. A nap? What do you mean, nap? Ah, the group we've been waiting for. The Guild for Freedom, and Caracosta, of course. We were alerted that you guys would be coming here, so we prepared. Is that... Who are you? And what do you think you're doing with Pikachu? You two, what you are trying to achieve is extremely dangerous. If you succeed with this plan, not only will you kill every Pokemon alive, but you will kill yourself with that spiritual darkness in the process. If that means getting revenge on killing my parents and friends, then yes! All of this, for revenge? Don't you think that genocide is completely overboard? Yes, us Pokemon kill the humans, but only because they treated us like slaves, murdered some of our relatives. Did you think that we were gonna let that slide? None of you know what it feels like to lose everything! None of you know what it feels like to truly be alone, or what it feels like to be haunted nonstop, or when you're the last of your kind. Even Pikachu went through this living nightmare, and yet he ends up forgiving all of you just because his memories were wiped away from him. And now he wants to protect you little shits from world domination as well! If I have to sacrifice my own life to avenge my family, my friends, and humanity all together, then so be it! Even if I despised him, maybe it's best for Pikachu to save us all from the likes of you. You brats! So what if Pikachu was once a human? That doesn't make him a criminal by default or a threat to any of us except for you. We may have kicked Pikachu and Piplup out after learning the truth, but during their time in our guild, they've done nothing but fight for everyone's lives to ensure we all lived peacefully after the war. Sure, he's lost everyone he truly loved to Pokemon as a species. But even after all of that, he still keeps up a positive attitude and never tried to kill any of us over an event that took place a decade ago. With or without his old memories. We'll help Pikachu and Piplup with all we have to make sure that what happened to humanity in the past will never happen again to the rest of us. We will accept Pikachu for who or what he truly is. And we'll trust Team Aquashock in saving us all and stopping your plans. Because we all have faith in them. We know that those two would never give up, no matter how many times they get knocked down to the floor. So Mewtwo? It's best that you give up, unless you want to get dangerous. ENOUGH! That's how it's gonna be then? Very well. The only way we're gonna settle this is a fight to the death! So don't you dare hold back!